Hello everybody, we're out here at Cape Mears. This is Sad to Pier. JoJo's Drums. And we're gonna go check it out. Cape Mears, Oregon coast. Come with us. <laughs> Chloe's here too. Chloe says, I'm here too guys, let's go. If you were with us on the stream the other day, uh, you, we could see these rocks from our beach. Remember the three rocks with the holes in the middle? That's them right there. What are we going to check out first, Jojo? Should we look at these signs over here? Sure. And then, and then we can go up to the octopus tree. There's an octopus tree. That sounds pretty awesome. 800 years old. 800 years old. Oh my god. What the? Hope you're all having a great day. Cape Mears Lighthouse. I read that it was the shortest lighthouse in, I, I believe, uh, it said the Oregon coast. Um, but the French hand ground, so it says a way of life centered around a one ton crystal lens. The French hand ground Fresnel lens at Cape Mears is one of only two eight sided lights in the United States. The other is in Hawaii. Keepers were given detailed instructions for maintaining the masterpiece. A brilliant light of the first order shaped like a giant beehive. The outer surface of the lens is made of prisms that bend the light into a narrow beam. The beam then passes through a magnifying glass or bullseye at the center of each side that, it, that intensifies it, producing a brilliant sheet of light visible for 21 miles. The original light was a heavy bronze five-wick kerosene lantern that was turned by weights and pulleys. Four sides of this eight-sided lens were covered with red glass, which produced an alternating red and white beam as the light turned. The Cape Mears light is of the first order, the largest of seven lens wow. sizes. Wow. So it looks like there are seals and sea lions both. Yep. Usually, I feel like usually... They're in like similar, similar places. So nine lighthouses were built along the Oregon coast in the 1800s. Each light had its own signature to help mariners, mariners navigate lighting along the coast. Uh, lighting along the coast was designed to keep a ship within sight of a light at all times. Cool. So should we go see the lighthouse? It doesn't say the lighthouse? about it being the shortest. Yeah, we could do the lighthouse first and then do the... And then the octopus tree, yeah. since we learned about it. Yeah. We learned about I it. Really those were sea lions that we saw. We saw sea lions bobbing in the ocean. They were out there bobbing away. Bobbing, bobbing, bobbing. Oh, the gift shop. We can still go to the lighthouse, but the gift shop's closed. But they don't do tours in the lighthouse anyway. No tours of the lighthouse. What? But I'm here for the tour. How can you not let us tour? <laughs> if you guys want some magical beach fire action, check out our last live stream titled Beach Beachy Stream. Beachy Stream. <laughs> What's it say up here? Excuse me. <laughs> Come on. 
peregrine falcons. Imagine that. Yeah. Did you know they're the fastest bird? Fastest, fastest bird alive. In the world. Wow, that's epic. Oh, there are the caves. There ain't no getting down to that. Maybe you can just see them. Maybe you don't get to go down there. Because it did just say check out the sea caves. But that picture I saw, it was Sandy Beach up to it. So when the tide's all the way low, it must, there must not be water in there. Looks like there's another one over on the other side of the way. Maybe we'll be able to see it from out at the end. The Cormorant Trio. Cormorant, Cormorant Trio. The Brants. The Pelagic. Pelagic, Pelag, Pelagic, Pelag, Pelagic, Pelagic, Double crested. The double crested was cool. Yeah. What are you doing? What are you doing, silly? I'm scared. I'm scared her real good. Hello. Hello. What a cool forested path. Well worth it. <laughs> awesome. Have a great day. We got the thumbs of approval. Let's go out here. Let's go check it out. Freaking awesome. This is Cape Mears on the Oregon coast. What'd you say? I said I found the quadrupus tree. The quadrupus tree. No, we don't care about that. We're only here for the octopus. Oh. We found some more uh, caves though. There's a cave right over there. The black oyster catcher. Jab. <laughs> oh no. Every time we chase the birds, they use Good up thing. their energy. Good thing our dogs don't chase the birds. It was just us. <laughs> we didn't chase. It was just us a little bit. We didn't chase them, we just we're running along the beach. We just kicked them off our beach. Okay, yeah, we were just running along the beach. That's a good that's a good answer. Good answer. Good answer, good answer. Oh, I wonder why it's the shortest lighthouse in all of four. <laughs> it goes down. <laughs> what? It goes down, so it's like negative tall? <laughs> Than what you can see here. That is the lens. That, so it's like huge. 
That is a lens. That's a lens if we ever seen a lens. It's so calm. There's no even a stir of a breeze. It's so nice. It's windless. Well, maybe a slight stir, but that's it. You, it's so funny because from our beach, you could see the tunnel in the middle. And from here, you can see the two on the outsides. Let's see what you're... Which ones are you talking about? Oh yeah, the rocks. Mm -hmm. Yep, there's a big hole in the middle rock. You just can't see it. It's from bigger here. than the other two for sure. It's the biggest of all the holes. It's so cute. I mean, we've been up lighthouses before and it's like you're dying by the time you get to the top. This one is like one story. It's so short. It's already propped up. Yeah. Exactly. This is the Cape Mears Lighthouse. Seems smart to put it on, the on the Oregon coast. Pinniped. Cute. Pinniped profiles. Brown ones. I've never seen brown ones. Stellar sea lions, have you? Uh -uh. Where they at? They rest nearby at Three Ark Rocks National Wildlife Refuge. I kind of want to go there. That's that. Up to 11 feet long. Three Ark Rocks. Rocks National Wildlife Refuge, south of. Yeah, right, right there. No. It still doesn't look tall. <laughs> it's the shortest ever. Look at Tillamook, it's real short too. 
little shorty, Kate Mears. Beep, 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 Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. So definitely a nice little walk down to a cool little lighthouse. They've named all these rocks. They all have different names. We're going to Octopus Tree now though, guys. In case you didn't know, now you know. Yep. Octopus Tree is coming up. I love the, like, is it brass? Looks like brass. To re so they're removable, so you can hold them, replace them. Oh. Oh. And now we climb. The ascent. We're excited for it. We were just kind of under that impression, weren't we? Yep, we were. We thought we might be able to go down, but we can't. Which one? Both Which of them return. One? Let's take the new one yeah. on the ocean side. Nice little loop-de-loop. -loop. Yeah, we go loop-de-loop. What was that? I couldn't hear you. We got a son of a bench. Son of a bench. On this episode of Son of a Bench, let's go first with its looks. What do we rate it on a scale of one I to ten? Like the way it's elevated, like even though it doesn't have any of the fancy stuff on it, it's a good looking bench. Scale of one to ten. I'm gonna go with a seven. Seven, I like it, I agree. Let's go on comfortability. Mm -hmm. Portion. I do like the height. You can swing your feet a little. Yeah, it is nice. Nice height. Sw foot foot That's swinging it. always gives it a pretty good comfort level for me. Scale 110. 7. I go 6, so we'll go 6.5. 6.5. So, the final view. 10. 10. 10. 10, 10, 10. 10 on the view. 23.5, not too bad. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I, I couldn't yeah, math. I wish you could have seen his math face. <sighs> I couldn't math. That's a good bench right there. Yeah. 
If they would have just made it look like an electric guitar or something, <laughs> we could have we been our first 30. We could have given that a 30. I wonder what our highest rating is. I feel like we had like a 27 or something. Everybody, somebody go through and make a compilation of all our <laughs> son of a binge episodes, please. Yeah. You, use, the, use the algorithm. It's a, oh, wait, what size? A pentapus. It's a it's a pentapus tree. That's my favorite. The pentapus. It's only five hundred years old. Hexapus. That's the raggedy. That's a ratchet ass hexapus. Oh, I can't say all these words on. Shh. I said the A word. Oh. I apologize, sir. Son of a bench, you're getting docked for being low. We're going to give you a minus one. Same as the other one. Oh, the, the so, view isn't the same. So, six. Dang. No, I think this one's only like five for aesthetics. I think the comfort level, because it's so short. Yeah, not as comfortable. It's like a five. Yeah, the view's like a seven. Yeah. That's a pretty nice view. This is not not a 10. Yeah, exactly. 17. So 17. 17 Man, it's crazy how just a few inches and a few feet can really knock <laughs> your points on some of a bench scale. Yeah. This is our first uh, video featuring uh, extended son of a bench segment. If you enjoy our son of a bench segment, you'll love our live streams Mondays at 420. We go into depth on our son of a bench. Deep dives. True. This is a steep old little path you. Yeah, perfect for the mountain leg. Mountain leg game on. Octop tree, here we come. Oh, it's not a pinta puss, it's a pinta tree. <laughs> ah, that's where we were going wrong. Uh, no, it's a pinta puss tree. Okay. I think. Oh, I think this one might be back to a 10 on the view. It seems more comfortable. How is it possible? Oh, because it's just the right height. That tall one, even though you could swing your feet, it was like uh, less yeah. comfortable because the bottom didn't go out 24. Yep, yeah, you got a seven on. Yeah, I'll give it the seven. All right. Dang, nice one. Definite 24. This one is a better view, I think, even. That one had a 10. It's like, this one's almost like a 10.5. Wow. That middle bench got the shaft. Yeah. 17. But it's a Sheesh. place to sit. Nice place to sit. It's so. nice that they put benches every five feet. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, well, if we're going to try to make this accessible, we better uh, yeah. give people a spot to sit down. Wow, it's so cool. I can't get enough of that. The ocean is magical. It's a wild, wild place. Get to the coast if you can, people. Breathe that ocean air. The ions are perfectly charged for your pleasure. So I hear. Whichever ones you need. I feel like this is a parkour stunt. It's all growing. It's growing this whole bush. That root. Whoa, bro. It's growing that bush and blowing my mind. Mind blown. Okay, guys. Here's where the real elevation begins. I think we 
I think so too. To get to the octopus tree. Yep. If you guys didn't know, that's where we're headed is to the octopus tree. It's over 800 years old. Like that guy up there. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't a live stream, I'm sorry. <laughs> Enough of my commentary. Shut up about it, young book. I need a bench to judge already. Like we were going way out of breath at the of the summer. Yeah. There's a lot of little picnic spots for your enjoyment. Hello. How are you guys doing? Doing great. Feels like these woods are old. Definitely. They've been around for a while. They've seen a thing or two. Yeah. It's so weird. Is there such a block? Is that why? Sap, like sap. Almost like That's something good. built up around the sap. Wow. Because of the sap, maybe. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Whoa, I see it. I see the octa tree. Oh my lord. Looks like it's a, a giant. Do not climb on tree. Keep out of fenced area. Protect this bad boy. Three, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, or this one. Yeah. Hello. 
Oh, it is 250. It's not 800. We were lying. It's not 800 years old. Oh. We're a bunch of liars. We've been lying the whole time. I was going to say 200, but you said 800. <laughs> He's the liar. I agreed. I you said 800 first. Uh -uh. And I said. I, when we were down at the beach, I was like, two, and you were like, eight. <laughs> yeah, I, it must have been me. I probably did. I think it was natural. They say it's either natural or Native Americans did it. It's just an estimate. It probably really is 800 years old. The tree measures 46 feet in circumference and has no central trunk. Wow. 105 feet It's almost feet like tall. it got chopped off so it was like that. Look at that. I want to climb on it so bad. I know. It's like very. I see why they had to protect it. Tasty. Yeah. Hello. I kind of feel like it wants to be climbed. It needs climbed on. It's like they haven't had anybody climb on me in so long. I'm so lonely here behind this fence. <laughs> If someone would only just climb on me a little bit. <laughs> That's what it's saying. You can hear it. Hello. Good, how you doing? Hey, puppy dogs. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely coming in. Yeah. I thought that low tide is supposed to be at three. Yeah, around two, two thirty, three o'clock is supposed to be low tide. Yeah, I thought it was supposed to clear up right now. Get froggy, pup. Get froggy. Get froggy. Get it. 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 Aesthetics, we're gonna go average six. Yeah. Six ish. Oh boy. It does have a nice lean. The back. feel is nice. That made me go, oh boy. Yeah, that's really Son nice. of a bitch. And then, dang, we might have a 26 on our hand. No. No, eight. I'm not giving it a 10 for comfort. Yeah, you're right. Like an eight for comfort. Seven, maybe. 24? I just want to dock the Third. view a little bit because the fence is right in the way. The fence is kind of in the way. We put this at our eye level. Put the camera at our eye level. See? That's the view. So if it were totally open, I would definitely give it a 10. Look at that fog just cruising. Yes. That is Super awesome. Foggy all of a sudden. I kind of wanted to sit here and watch the, the fog fence, with I'm you guys. I'm giving it like an 8. Maybe 9. I guess 9. I don't know. The fence is part of the view. Enjoy the view, guys. Uh, we love you and we'll be back at the end to say goodbye.
I think we're about to get fogged out, guys. You can barely see anything out there. We better just uh, say goodbye to the octopus tree. You wanna go say goodbye to the octopus tree, honey? In all its glory. Guys, we appreciate you coming in, watching, commenting, uh, all that fun stuff. Don't forget, we go live Mondays at 420. Jojo Strums goes live Wednesdays at 5, live at 5. And we premiere these adventures every Wednesday at 530. The Pacific Ocean is right over there in the fog. Do something you all love. Bleh. With someone you love. Even if it's yourself. <coughs> love yourself. Love your dogs, even if they bark. Love you. Bye.